Okay, uh, so what is this about? Um, I made a little module called Publish Later. Why you, you make a little module? Uh, because I didn't want to make a big one. Oh, so I, I know that there are a lot of ideas floating around there with a huge thing, but but we needed this functionality uh, without adding a whole schedule task uh, infrastructure to Orchard. So uh, here it is. Uh, if you know the publish later module in Orchard One, it's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, so once you enable it, you will get a publish later part. So I added it to blog post. Here it is. Uh, nothing to configure. Uh, it will just work. And what will it do? Well, uh, what will it do is that under blog post, now you have this publish later feature, uh, which obviously um, uh, to schedule you know, the publishing of this content item. Uh, so if you set up a date time here and hit publish later, the content item will be saved or the current version will be saved as a draft. And then at the given time, uh, it will be automatically published uh, by a background task. So uh, let's also see it because there are a few other things that will happen. Uh, this is demo three. I already needed two iterations before this to make sure it actually works. And we have all these mandatory fields here. Okay, and now the fun part. Let's specify the date time here. It will be like uh, one minute in the future, so we don't have to wait. Uh, it's 9 p.m. here. Uh, so it will be this one. All right. Uh, and as you can see, now we have this saved here and we have a cancel publish button. Uh, so you can still cancel the publishing process from here. Um, and um, in, in the summary admin list, you, you also have this little message here that this is published at that given time. So if we go here on the front end, it shouldn't be published yet. Yeah, now so we should uh, wait like a minute. On Tuesday, March, not at. Sorry? On, not at. Ah, that's right. Well, you I can ask, you can ask an English speaker. There are many, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why I said why I used that. That's problem. okay. I, well, nobody will blame you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, but nobody English speaking is using Orchard. Uh, uh, anyway, I will I will change it. Uh, probably it is published now. Yeah, it is published now. So we see the beautiful demo here. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, how this works? Uh, of course, that there is a background task. Uh, it's a simple background task, and here's the issue about the whole functionality. And under here, um, there are a lot of ideas about building a schedule task functionality. So much like it's um, in Ocean Fun, so instead of just uh, periodic background tasks, uh, let's have uh, something where you can schedule a task to be executed at a specific data in the future. I didn't work on that. Uh, so that would be something related and that's something that could be used by this feature. Uh, but with a simple background task, uh, this will work as well. So unless you have uh, like tens of millions of content items where um, running queries on uh, um, or to filter them is an issue, uh, this will work. So uh, I've submitted a PR for this. Uh, this is still a, a draft because I, I figured uh, there will be probably some feedback now, like like having grammatical errors. Yeah, nobody will give you feedback if it's a draft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, feedback now. And not <laughs> if I incorporate this feedback, uh, feedbacks uh, from today, I will, I will change it to, okay. to not draft. Yeah, and uh, important thing, uh, this is uh, this contribution. That, which is so you, more, you can more. make the archive later? Uh, that would be pretty much the same thing, though. But you didn't make it? OK. I will think about it. Maybe, maybe yes. Uh, but but I'm not sure um, how that would work. So let's, I mean, but the point is. So you, um, I, will, I will look up the feature request. Super useful. People want to display your news and they say, okay, but 
next week you just unpublish the news. Oh, so it's it's unpublishing. Yeah, it's archive. That's what it was called in Orchard One, archive. There is an archive later module. So you get the same way you did the today the the drop down for the date for publish, there is another one for the unpublish. Oh, I see. So it would be basically the the opposite. Uh, I've never yeah. used the feature in Orchard One. The... It's really the same thing, just copy pasting the code, but with an unpublished code instead of publish. <laughs> but you see that it's it's useful, like because because like for news, you don't want it to be displayed after some time. So yeah, just, I see. That's easy enough. Cool. Uh, yeah, and and one final note. Uh, this is this contribution is sponsored by a company, uh, and this time not Lombic, but Vice Ratings. So we were, we were actually contracted to do this. Uh, this site is on Orchard One. Uh, but they are building something else on Orchard Core. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. And it's in English, so you have to fix the, the text. Yes, otherwise they'll be they will be angry. <laughs> awesome. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, that was it. Thanks. <laughs>